was, must have been in 1985. One young young girl said that uh, she was really concerned because everybody had an in- internet connection. They weren't texting by then, but they had internet. The threats to kids in a small community in that time frame were car accidents and uh, early pregnancies. And she said, what makes me worry about this is that when we get to the reproduction chapter in the biology book, the teacher skips it and says, talk to your parent. I was dumbfounded. <laughs> and it was interesting to see all the kids nod their heads and see the reaction of the uh, elders sitting around them in the outer ring. That too was an eye opener. I think the work was valuable, but I think it, uh, it simply was a new rallying point in each of these communities from which a lot of new things could happen. Well, I guess I'd go back to McFIP, which I think was almost a very total success in every respect. And again, I don't have the benefit of current knowledge, but I know it was a concern to Dottie and to those of us who were still meeting as a group at that time. It was very important to put pressure on everybody to succeed with this, to say that we were going to have available to everyone in Michigan uh, a community foundation. Some uh, territories were assembled to meet that goal without necessarily the confidence that they would thrive. And I think there were early problems with putting a lot of territories together in the UP. I mean, what else are you going to do in the UP? There were problems of coordinating them. And so I think instead of having a lot of little ones, we tried ultimately to convert some little ones into regional ones. Maybe that's a normal outcome of following how the work goes and and taking remediation steps along the way as needed. But I just know that having the feeling that the the design had not been able to incorporate some of the surprises that were found. But that's such a, that's a very minor part of that program, which in other respects succeeded beautifully.